Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all the books that I got for Christmas. One of them I bought myself and it just came around Christmas time so I'm just counting it in this video. There will be a video coming out with all the books from like my birthday just because I did buy some with my birthday money. Um, but I thought I'd separate the videos seeing as those books haven't arrived yet. So I'm going to quit rumbling and get into the books that I have got. First one is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. So as you can see, I've started this. It was the first book that I started in 2024, actually. And it says, Greece in the age of heroes, awkward young prince Patroclus has been exiled to the court of King Peleus. Despite their differences, Peleus's golden boy Achilles befriends the shamed prince. As they grow into young men, their bond blossoms into something deeper, despite the displeasure of Achilles' mother, the sea goddess Thetis. But when word comes that Helen of Sparta has been kidnapped, Achilles must go to war in distant Troy and fulfil his destiny. Torn between love and fear for his friend, Patroclus goes with him. It's like a greek retelling of like a lesser known like story in that kind of because obviously we've all heard of achilles the next book i got is caravel by stephanie garber she's the same author as the once upon a broken heart series and it says once once a year the infamous master legend hosts caravel open only to those who have been invited this year the week-long game is on legends glittering isla de los Suenos, where the winding streets are an elaborate snow-covered maze and the people are never who they seem. At midnight on the first day the show begins and the visitors become players. Each of them is vying for the coveted prize, a single wish. All they must do is unravel the mystery of Caraval, but in a game where danger hides behind every charming smile, winning isn't without loss and their wish might be their last. I know that this is set in the same world as Once Upon a Broken Heart. And I enjoyed reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. Then I'm just gonna say them all in one go. I have five of the books in the Shatter Me series. I know that there's nine, four being novellas. So I know that I need to get the novellas as well. But my thought is, is that I'll read Shatter Me, see how it goes. I'll probably still end up getting all of them, but they're like fair early shortish reads a big text as well they are dystopian it says a fragile teenage girl is held captive locked in a cell by the re-establishment a harsh dictatorship in charge of a crumbling world but juliet is no ordinary teenager one touch from her can kill the re-establishment wants to use her as a weapon but juliet has other plans after a lifetime without freedom she finally discovers the strength to fight back and to find a future with the one person she thought she'd lost forever. The next two books that I got is These Violent Delights and Our Violent Ends. These are, I think it's a secret Shanghai series, or I've heard it referred to that. And it says, the year is 1926 and Shanghai hums to the tune of debauch debauchery. A blood feud between two gangs runs the streets red, leaving the city in chaos. Juliet Kai is the proud heir of the Scarlet Gang, a network of criminals far above the law. Roma Montagov is the prodigal son of her greatest rivals, the White Flowers. Honestly, it makes me think of um, Battle of the Roses. Oh, well, I don't know whether it's Battle of the Roses. There is a battle. Oh, I think it's the one with Henry the Seventh. It's like War of the Roses. There's like anyone who's living in England will remotely know what I mean um and it says who have fought the Scarlets for generations he's also Juliet's first love and first betrayal when a deadly madness strikes gangsters on both sides the people start to whisper of a contagion and a monster in the shadows and as the deaths stack up Juliet and Roma must set their guns and grudges aside and work together um and then this just follows along i'm not gonna read then this next book is one that i bought myself and it is all our hidden gifts by caroline o'donoghue or o'donoghue this one part i'd seen it um first and then 
it got reduced to I think like £2.56 so I bought it and it says Maeve Chambers doesn't have any special gifts that is until she finds a dusty old packet of tarot cards and starts giving uncannily accurate readings to everyone around her. But when she reads to her ex-best friend Lily, a strange card appears in the deck and everything goes wrong. Lily doesn't come to school the next day or the next and Maeve knows she's been taken somewhere the police will not find her. Only the cards and something older, something even more powerful can bring her back. This just sounded really interesting. Um, I've never heard of the author. Then the next book I've got is Renegades by Marissa Myers. This is part of a trilogy. I don't have the second or third, but it says Nova is an anarchist, a girl on a mission for vengeance after the heroes who want to protect her family failed her. Adrian is a renegade, a boy with extraordinary abilities who believes in justice and in Nova. They should be sworn enemies, but Nova finds herself torn between Adrian and the Renegades, and a villain that could that could destroy them both. I've just heard great things. It is a long book. I feel like the text is quite... it's not small. And then the final book that I have is A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting by Serfi Irwin. This has been on my radar for a while after like when only the hard cover was out i do prefer the hard cover like like cover i just i preferred the blue and like the side profile but it says kitty talbot needs a fortune she's got 12 she's got just 12 weeks to find a rich husband and save her sisters and she must use every ounce of cunning and and ingenuity she possesses to climb london society if she is to succeed the only person she can't fool is Lord Ra is Lord Radcliffe, who sees straight through her plans and is determined to stop her at any cost. There is not a day to lose and no one, not even a lord, will stand in her way. I just thought it sounded really interesting. Again, I was first captivated by the hardcover copy. Those are all the books that I got. As you can see, there's a little bit of a range. They've ended up being in the kind of like fantasy most of them are like the fantasy or like dystopian world i don't know how to i don't know how i'd describe up these violent delights obviously this one's a bit more regency so it's probably more like a contemporary those are all the books i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what books you got for christmas yourself and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys